A very terrible accident happened on Christmas Day in 2019 in Abuja, killing a man, his wife and three of their children. The family of five were most likely returning from a trip or just returning home for the day when their vehicle lost control and collided with an overhead bridge along the Kuba Abuja Express Road, causing their vehicle to burst into flames, killing every single one of them. Five people there inside. Here like this now, they uh, don't really be five people. Uh, so if the same family want another person die again, they go open now and put another person. No. Okay, this one don't fool like this. Uh, like this one, you don't fool. When these people, when be the last one with them be? See. So what had happened was in our visit to Gudu Cemetery in Abuja, if you saw the part one of this video, the caretaker took us to this gravesite where he said five family members were buried here. We were under the impression that this was probably a plot that was bought and the family members were, you know, elderly people who had chosen to be buried together when and if they die. So we were thinking this is like the one we saw in Ikoi Cemetery where certain vaults or certain gravesite had already been purchased by family members given any time they passed. So we did not know that this was the family that had lost their life in a ghastly accident in 2019 on Christmas Day in Abuja. It was after we went home that we did our research to find out who was buried there that we discovered it was the Aloe family that were buried there. It's such a tragic way to die, especially with their children. The accident was said to have happened in the middle of the night, around 10 p.m. So not many people know what could have caused their car to malfunction. Some people were of the opinion that the driver, the father, may have slept on the wheels. Some were of the opinion that the road was most likely bad at the time. So it's unclear what really caused them to have the accident. But we do hope that they are resting in peace. So it's one, two, four, five. So five people here now on this new site. Okay. So welcome to part two of Faces in Death. And this is Gudu Seme 3. We've done the part one of this video already. It's just unfortunate that it was five months ago and it's taken us five months to upload the part two. Ah, my dear. So I still remember a lot of how I felt at this cemetery. But side note, I wasn't here. It was my friend Divine who came here to film for us at the time. But I remember being live with him as he was filming. However, we got some interesting things and some interesting people were buried here. In a few moments, we will get to see the grave of Azuya Isimi. And uh, we will also see the covid muslim side of this cemetery like the cemetery alone is already divided amongst christians and muslims although there's a part where both christians and muslims seem to have been buried but that was before the segregation of some sort now aside that segregation it turned out that the people who had died from covid19 also had their separate plots in this burial ground they were buried separately from others and when we got to the COVID side of the cemetery, something weird happened that got me thinking. And we will talk about it in a moment. But right now, let's go check out the final resting place of Azuai Simi, aka Zaza. A 33-year-old Nigerian female pilot who lost her life in a plane crash in Cameroon on the 11th of May 2022. Now we don't fall inside like this. So nobody go repair them. Okay, only if the family come. I then go do that. As the caretaker takes us to Zaza's final resting place, we got to see various so broken like that, gravestones. <laughs> and so many unmarked graves too, if I must add. This, this one where we say date, no date there. Some of them did no did. So this one is the old side like this now. That means like they were kind of top people grieve with us. I don't know what's with cemeteries ah, okay. and unmarked grave. Like the if I was the president or the ruler of a place, I would make it the rule that them. in every cemetery, them, oh. no grave should be left unmarked. 
there are so many people buried there that there is no stone above it there is no date on it no marker just grass covering over there at some point we're not even sure if we're stepping on one grave or the other because everything just looks like people just come to dump their loved ones here and go it's so unfortunate though i wish all grave ever made had a marker a gravestone writing the names of the people who had passed there the year they passed the year they were born and even you know maybe a picture or something that just proves that this is where they were finally laid to so many people will just be forgotten so many people who had lived and passed we would never be remembered because their loved ones did not care enough to mark their final resting place and you also have to also put in mind that the good cemetery is free we mentioned that in part one so you don't pay anything to bury a loved one here is government owned all you have to do is present a death certificate and a plot of land is assigned to you and i understand that this is a more affordable option for families who don't want to break the bank but the least anyone can do since you're not paying millions for a plot since you're not paying millions to bury your loved one in this uh, uh, cemetery the least you can do is spend a reasonable amount of money to mark the grave of your loved one okay this one you can't do your own you can't touch and small the person died in 2010 so this person his family came to maintain his own No, I think I'll film the guys that were calling me. Those guys, they shout my name. Oh. They tell me to make I come here. Those ones will be telling me to make I no go meet. Uh, no, I know them now. I know. And I pass them when I come. Just a little side note for anyone who wants to go and film content in Good Cemetery. I don't know how many people would do that. It seems like it's only us that do so. But if you ever have interest in going to any cemetery at all in your locality, the divine, my friend, who filmed this had a challenge with thugs and you know bad boys around who saw him filming and saw him recording and began questioning him you know trying to extort from him trying to bully him trying to harass him for the most part if not for the presence of the caretaker who was with him the whole time uh, this uh, video may have turned into something else because i just can't imagine what those thugs would have been capable of they may have stolen his phone may have robbed him or may have even done worse because why are thugs hanging around the cemetery why and why are they bothered about somebody filming if you are not the caretaker why are you worried that somebody is filming are those grave uh, diggers trying to steal something or are they people waiting for night to come so they can rob a grave so kudos to the caretaker who was with the vine the whole time and tried his best to make sure he doesn't get harassed we also got to learn that people bring their loved ones from other countries and other states to be buried here and it was very interesting to learn they, they carry coffee from lagos come here yeah they bring coffee from lagos why because here, here it is very cheap here is free from, from Dubai. Oh wow. London. So people bring their dead bodies from Dubai to come here, even bring them from Lagos because they don't want to pay that big money. Uh, here now, because now free, they will bring them here. Can't leave them, come out, forget them. Why defense just did like this? Look at the fence. It's open, anybody can enter. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, yeah. Those are that one no enter. No security, no day. That one enter now. Had it been me now, no day game for calling my phone. No. I put my phone for pocket, I can't turn line the guys see you can't start the turn the wakari go. Uh, I want you to tell you what you need to. Had you been a catch and bar? <laughs> because I see this one. Okay. So this one is Eloho, best man. Wow, this one. Who is that? The degree the they don't cover. I'm not allowed to touch these things. Voila. This one three they go grow for your own grave. So one question that I usually enjoy asking these um, cemetery caretakers is if they've seen 
the sighting of a ghost or if they've sighted a ghost before because you know we did that in the ecoe cemetery vc2 where one of the people walking there claimed to have seen a ghost in a very fascinating story that he told us you can check it out it's there and so when we came to go to cemetery we also thought that we are going to ask the caretakers here if they've seen a ghost and this man who walked here or who said he had walked here for five years said he hadn't seen anything <laughs> so it was it was fascinating to hear because most people who walk here always claim to have seen a ghost or seen something or had had some kind of strange experience that may be you know um difficult to explain i like that he was honest it's not as if i don't believe that ghosts exist it's just that you know the stereotype with people who walk in the cemetery are uh, known that they always see these things on a daily but to hear someone say he hasn't was refreshing you don't walk five years for this place mm. and you never see any spirits spirit, say be say ghost or something they happen mm. yeah. Why people come the talk say if you live for a cemetery, you see spirits where we If they see spirits, and now when they walk here, you they do any juju where they help you, me no see spirits. Ah. Okay, we are now close to Zaza's final resting place, and just a little more on her tragic passing. It was said that she was in Cameroon when this accident happened. She was working for an oil company from Nigeria, but they had their base in Cameroon. And according to what we know, she was flying a plane with 11 passengers in it from one city to another city in Cameroon. Unfortunately, the weather was bad and at some point they had to stop the plane on land for a while and then continued flying but it was said the plane had only four hours of um, flight time it was a small plane by the way and when she took off to find an airport to land she lost radio signals and so she could not land her plane because there was nobody to tell her where to land and for some weird reason the plane already had four hours left to run and somehow some way it crashed into a forest killing every single one of them i also got to learn that she was given the title senior first officer after the incident so that was given to her posthumously you now up until this point are christians no muslim why they divide them? Other cemetery, they only divide them. No. Why they can't do say this side now, this side now, Christian? If, if they're not jammed like this, maybe here, they don't, they, they don't fool things now. Eh. Uh. Uh, if you fool, then they go move, go to the other side it's now. Not, it's not, it's not even good for that matter. Why now? How come? Before, before when we come, mm. they say that they combine. Eh. Uh. You understand? Yes. Even though if you go there now, you will see Christians. Uh, okay, for that one, uh, but that side, that one, old, old ones, we will see uh, before the uh, stop to the combine. Mm. Okay. You know Chinese, not the better people, but right? yes, they used to go. Okay, okay, so people where they do cremation, uh, cremation, cremated people at that side. No, uh, Chinese people. Okay, okay, now that's they use bond there. Yeah. That's the cremation metal right there. Okay. First, show me the COVID people first. We'll start from that one. Then we'll go. COVID people, Abakari did that side now. You show me those ones. Hey, no more no cut today. So, earlier on in this video, I told you that when we went to the COVID side of the cemetery, the caretaker refused us to get closer for a while and i did not understand why he did that and it was still okay. confusing to me even up to now i'm not so sure i want to go near see and where now i know if you go so this is i can't go close okay make i go see make i go so this is a former senator Dr. Ibrahim Nasi Omuntu and he died out of COVID. 
my theory was that you know the there was a stigma with people who died of covid they were buried with overalls masks so many gears and i think that stigma was somehow still prevalent in the mind of the caretaker and maybe that was why he told us not to go close because he was still seeing it as if it was 2019 where people were avoiding bodies that were buried because they passed with the COVID-19 infection. That was just my thoughts. And I think maybe that was why he did not want us to go close. So this was just the COVID Muslim side. I think there is the COVID Christian side. So all these people here, they died of COVID. And I noticed that they didn't put in much effort in putting a tombstone on their grave. I mean, look at the senator's grave site. They just put gravel there. Oh, wow. Catch for Nigeria. So I need to feel the catch for Nigeria. Na, uh, uh, now MKB did they put for their grave. Uh, so this place is now like unknown gunmen. He said this place is for unknown gunmen. Thieves, they name it MKB and then they start from there. So all these unmarked graves that have gone, that have fallen in are criminals and unknown government that nobody identified. But what was surprising to me was that after this MKB line, the next line of graves were uh, regular people, including that of Abakari. You remember the uh, Abakari's uh, grave? AKA, yeah, he was the first person to die of COVID and this is his grave site. So I remember his story. He was all over the news and he is muslim so i guess this is why he was buried like this and i think muslims always use short form for their deceased person they usually don't use the full name is it possible that that mkb was probably someone's name and not necessarily uh or non gunmen because it was just so close to their bakari's grave it was in the same line so i don't know i'm not sure so he has corrected me this is abakari's grave that's abakari of nigeria that COVID killed, the first person that COVID killed in Nigeria, this is grave site. Sheesh. So yeah. This one on a person grave too. Yeah, I'm from this here. We don't tell yeah. yeah. You know the CBN deputy governor. Uh, uh, from your which state? Nasarawa? Yeah. Uh, uh, former CBN governor. Deputy oh. CBN governor. Okay, Deputy CBN Governor. So this is the Muslim side, but there are some Christian here. He said that, that they put some Christian here before they decided to demarcate the whole cemetery system. So yeah. Okay. Which side are they going now? Here, here, the COVID that for the Christian. Okay, this is Christian COVID side. So they go which side now? This guy now, he had to follow me out of the cemetery for those guys not to follow me. So he's leading me to the road now because they will follow me if they don't see him. So now he's leading me out to like, so that they won't follow me, those people that were trying to take my phone. And they just plenty for that place. Now, so they're in danger. They try to keep people phone. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. 